Kangaroos belong to the animal family Macropodidae, which literally means big foot. Thanks to their large feet and powerful hind legs, kangaroos can travel more than 56 km per hour and leap more than 9 m in a single bound that's more than 6 10-year-olds lying head to toe. They have small front legs and a long, strong tail which helps them balance while jumping. The tallest of all our planet's marsupials, these amazing animals can stand over 2 meters tall. Kangaroos are found in eastern Australia, where they live in small groups called troops or herds, or mobs by Australians, typically made up of 50 or more animals. If threatened, kangaroos pound the ground with their strong feet to alert and warn the others in the group. And these cool creatures aren't to be messed with when they fight, they punch and kick with powerful blows, and will sometimes even bite. Males will often fight each other over access to females. Female kangaroos sport a pouch on their belly, made by a fold in the skin, to cradle baby kangaroos, called joeys. Newborn joeys are tiny, measuring just 2.5 centimeters, or about the size of a grape cute. After birth, joeys travel unassisted through their mother's thick fur to the comfort and safety of the pouch. A newborn can't suckle or swallow, so the kangaroo mum uses her muscles to pump milk down its throat. At around four months, the youngster emerges from the pouch for short trips, and at ten months, it's mature enough to leave the pouch for good. Kangaroos are herbivores and like to chew on grasses, herbs, and shrubs. Besides humans and wild dogs called dingoes, kangaroos face few natural predators. But that's not to say that these guys have it easy. Heat, drought, and hunger due to vanishing habitat are amongst the dangers these amazing marsupials face. What did you make of our kangaroo facts? Leave a comment below and let us know. Kangaroos are marsupials aka they carry their young in a pouch. Although the kangaroo has many brothers that look like it i.e. wallabies and wallaroos, the term kangaroo technically describes the largest of the bunch and includes the red kangaroo, the eastern grey kangaroo, the western grey kangaroo and the antelopine kangaroo. A group of kangaroos is called a mob. A male is a boomer and a female is a jill. Babies are referred to as joeys, like all other marsupial babies. If you're into your sports, see how many Aussie sports teams you can find that use the kangaroo and its affiliates as their mascots. Kangaroos are indigenous to Australia, seriously this should be higher on your list of things to see than a beach. Kangaroos are strict herbivores, however they hardly release any methane, unlike most cattle. Kangaroo meat is commonly found in Australia and is considered to be a healthier and more sustainable option than other types of meat. There are more kangaroos in Australia than there are Australian people. With this in mind, are kangaroos actually endangered? This is quite a controversial question to answer. Kangaroos are hunted for their skin and meat, however some would say that it is done to control the population, protect farmers' crops, and homes. If a kangaroo were to enter and become aggressive, although a six feet muscular roux can be quite striking, they are unlikely to pose an actual threat. What is certain is that environmental factors such as global warming are impacting on their food resources and that accidents involving humans are also impacting on the kangaroo population. As with most conservation initiatives, it is always best to start with what we can do on a personal level which can be more effective than signing petitions and adding Facebook likes to all causes. Here are a few tips on how you can help the kangaroo. Don't feed the kangaroo your fries. Beach bum kangaroos are sometimes seen and can be very friendly and approachable. But, like a dog, they just want to be fed. Now, how should I put it lightly? Please, do not feed the kangaroo McDonald's. No matter the puppy dog eyes that you may think you are seeing, this is not an opportunity for you to share your lunch. Kangaroos will do just fine with grass, so no need to increase their sodium and carbohydrate intake, as well as preservatives and whatever else is in that packet. Don't drive at night in the outback. Kangaroos account for over 80% of animal collisions and can cause severe damage to both the car and the animal. The chance of an accident is so high that most rental car insurance policies won't cover you if you travel between dusk and dawn in the outback. Do check the pouch for joeys. If you find a roux on the road or you unfortunately hit one, 
make sure that you check the pouch of a female to see if there's a baby. These can often be saved with the right care. Do call a kangaroo sanctuary if you see an injured roo. There are many scattered around Australia, with places where kangaroo collisions are likely, often show special road signs with contact numbers, 